All right, so how does the brain deal with the enormous complexity of dynamic scenes? The, I'd like to propose a partial answer, which is essentially a form of divide and conquer, that the brain takes advantage of the hierarchical structure underlying many different scenes, and specifically that uh, complex motions are often composed of simpler motions. So take, for example, this scene of Spider-Man fighting Dr. Octopus. We can perceive the relative motions of Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus on the train relative to the background. We can also perceive the relative motion of Spider-Man uh, relative to Dr. Uh, Dr. Octopus. And then if we zoom in on Spider-Man, we can even see the motion of his different body parts relative to his body and so on. Um, so how do we how do we extract this kind of hierarchical motion structure from dynamic scenes? Um, so in collaboration with Frank Yackel and Josh Tenenbaum, we've uh, formalized this as a, a form of what we call Bayesian vector analysis. And the basic idea <laughs> is that underlying, um, underlying representation that the visual system is trying to extract is what we call a motion tree. So this is an example of a motion tree uh, applied to the Spider-Man scene. Um, and the idea here is that the motion of, let's say, Spider-Man's hand um, is the sum of motions along a path in this tree. So a sum of relative motions. Um, now, the visual system isn't given this tree. It has to infer it from, from the stimulus. So um, many different trees can give rise to the same dynamic scene. So uh, it's a fundamentally ambiguous problem. And we resolve this ambiguity using Bayesian inference. So specifically, we're going to try to infer the posterior distribution over motion trees given a sequence of images. Um, and just to give you a sense of how this works, let's see if this plays. Uh, well, my mouse. Oh, here we go. So this is a stimulus that Gunnar Johansson um, studied nearly uh, half a century ago. Uh, so we can see that uh, this isolated dot is moving on along, along a diagonal trajectory. Um, now add two flanker dots that always remain collinear with this dot. And something kind of amazing happens. So now um, many observers will notice that you no longer really see uh, a, a, the center dot oscillating diagonally, but rather you see it oscillating vertically within a horizontally translating reference frame. So this is a very simple example of the kind of uh, hierarchical motion perception that our visual system is capable of. Um, and the, what, the, what Bayesian vector analysis basically does is it decomposes this um, uh, visual stimulus into the sum of this horizontal, uh, horizontally translating reference frame and this vertical motion component. Um, and we've applied this to many other phenomena, Dunker wheel, transparent motion, motion contrast, biological motion, and we've also collected some new uh, psychophysical data, and the model pr provides an exquisitely good fit to this data. Um, and on the horizon, we've been thinking about using this model to provide insights into how infants discover the structure of objects.